Welcome to the Living Artist Podcast. I'm your host, Preston M. Smith. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Living Artist Podcast. I'm Preston M. Smith, at PMS Artwork Everywhere on Internet Land and Socials. I want to thank you for landing on this podcast. Whether you're a professional artist, just getting started in the art world, a collector of art, or just consider yourself a creative person, this podcast has something for you. I like to think of it as a fun way to rant and talk to other creative people about living the life of an artist, surviving and getting ahead in the art world, and enjoying your life. But most importantly, not waiting until you're dead to make it happen. All right, let's get started. Alexa, play Forever Young. Here's Forever Young by Alphaville on Amazon Music. Yeah. Uh. Let's dance for a while. Have a kid wait while we really watch in the skies. Best but I picked in the worst. Drop the bomb now. Let us live forever. I don't know this song very well. Just trying to get to the chorus. I feel like this is bad karaoke. Ah, here we go. I want to be forever young. Alexa. Stop. Alexa's kind of like my co-host over the years, just chiming in whenever she wants to. Alexa, how are you feeling today? Well, it's Friday, so there's only one way to answer to that question. Oh, snap. Great. Good to hear it. Alexa, tell us a joke. What's the coolest element in the periodic table? I don't know. What is the Brr, coolest? Really? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay. All righty. That has been Fun with Alexa, brought to you by Amazon Echo. Use coupon code Amazon Echo forward slash the living artist. You can try that, but nothing's going to happen. Okay, I'm officially back to my seat with my pop filter. Pop, pop, pop filter. Yeah, so you probably can notice a little difference in my voice. I was just fooling around and Alexa came up, you know, like she always does. It's funny, my wife and I watch Shit's Creek sometimes. And the mother character, Moira Rose, played by the great Catherine O'Hara, of course, who's great, always is like, Alexis. And then Alexa will just chime in and be like, I do not know the answer for that or whatever. So that's fun having our devices speak to each other. You're getting a little glimpse of the future, everybody. That's how it's going to be. Have you seen the movie Her? Yep. It's all downhill from there. They're going to start communicating at rapid speeds and pretty much the singularity is almost near so read ray kurt's file you'll get a glimpse of what it's going to be all you got to do is make friends with your nanobots babies and we'll be all good so welcome back to the podcast episode 99 99 of the living artist podcast i just want to say up at the top here first of all thank you to sarah svetlana for coming on recently and sharing her story very bravely That's a great episode. If you haven't had a chance to listen to that, go back and listen to Healing with Sarah Svetlana. There's some really good wisdom and advice in there to anybody who's really struggling or hurting. So go back and listen to that. And I just wanted to tell everybody that I just was on the Outside Inside Radio podcast. It is put on by Prison Arts Collective. And it was Ella and Kathy who interviewed me for that. I've been on their show. I've had my episodes of this podcast, Living Artist, rebroadcasted on KSPC through Prison Arts Collective. And that's always been amazing to reach their audience and to be a part of their mission of broadcasting to and working with the incarcerated population. So that's wonderful. And I am on their new episode coming out, I believe in a week or so. So keep an eye out. I will be putting... Links in the show notes when we have it out, but you can also follow me on social media at PMS Artwork, and you will see me posting about it as soon as that's available. And that was a lot of fun sitting down with Ellen and Kathy. We had a great conversation, 
and it was a lot of fun. We had some fun with it. A lot of good little tidbits in there, so stay tuned for that. Today, if you couldn't have guessed from our theme music, our bad karaoke theme music, is the topic of forever young, being forever young. Do you really want to live forever, forever, and ever? Yes, we all do. Of course we do. (laughs) Well, some of us don't, but anyway, I wanted to keep this topic a little bit light and fun today because, hey, it's episode 99. It's one episode before the 100th episode of which I have, I got things planned. I got things planned for yous. So stay tuned for that, but that's going to take up a lot of bandwidth. And hey, it's the holidays. I got family coming in that I haven't seen for two and a half years because of the good old-fashioned pandy, and I'm going to be recording quite a few episodes at once, kind of batch them for the holidays, and just wanted to have a little fun with this one, and then focus in on episode number 100. Well, I don't want to set the bar too high, but it's going to be fun. It's going to take up a little time. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I wanted to talk about Forever Young today because I was just thinking about it, and I was thinking about how cool it is to be an artist and to be able to really stay young through your work, Forever Young. It's one of those few career paths where you can do that. It's not like being an athlete where you peak at 30 or maybe if you're lucky, 35, and then it's kind of downhill from there and you lose a little bit of the passion and pizzazz or, you know, even an actor, unfortunately, it's one of those things. There's a little bit of ageism with acting, you know, maybe you're a good looking chap um, or I don't know, I don't know what the female version of chap is, but, um, you know, maybe you're a good looking chap and you're, that's part of the draw for you as an actor. And as the looks begin to fade a bit, as they do for us all, you know, you lose a little bit of that appeal, that a little bit of that star appeal. And I'm not saying that's right. I don't agree with ageism, but it does exist with a lot of these things. And, you know, we all lose our stuff a little bit. We all lose our moxie a little bit in most of our jobs. And the cool thing about being an artist, and I've talked about this before a little bit, but I wanted to go into it a bit more today is that we can always keep our moxie. Like That's why I'm so intrigued by writers and artists, painters, visual artists, because, I don't know, they seem to be able to keep that moxie and still be on the cutting edge, still be able to be edgy with their work and really make a statement into their old age. And a lot of them end up being 90 or 100 even. And they end up painting or creating art the whole way through. What better career path than that. I mean, what better way to kind of throw yourself into a craft than something that you can do for the rest of your life, something that's always intriguing, always fun, always get your juices flowing, and that you can always make a statement that doesn't reflect on just age alone, right? Or energy levels or whatnot. So I think that's really cool. And I just wanted to talk about that a little bit today because that's something that always inspires me. It's like, well, I just turned 43, The cat's out of the bag, everybody. I definitely don't feel 43. I feel like I'm in my early 30s. I keep thinking 33 when people ask me my age, but I guess that's where I am. Forever young. Forever 33, people. But it's one of those things where maybe art has kept me a little young. I feel like I have the enthusiasm and I have the drive and I have the energy to keep creating art like I am or was when I was in my 20s or 30s even like I feel like I still have that punk aesthetic when I need it or that that darkness if I need to bring that out or the emotion the raw energy raw emotion can still flow out very easily into my work and that's really exciting because it's like you can always be relevant you can always be on the cutting edge of the art world and have a lot to say I mean honestly in what other field could you be considered emerging in your 30s and 40s and even 50s like oh I'm an emerging artist you're 45. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in a lot of career paths, I would be like, all right, we're looking for the new the younger model, which is BS, of course. But what they're really just saying is we're looking for somebody who has new energy and new ideas, which of course anybody can have regardless of age. And that's the beauty of art is you're looking at someone's pure essence. You're not just judging a book by its cover. Now, the one caveat to that is obviously 
you you don't want to age in your thinking, right? You don't want to be left behind, behind the curve, like things that are going on in the world today, new trends, new social media, new ways of thinking, you know, new gender roles, like you name it. There's so many things that are coming out that I think we need to be aware of if we want to be able to kind of stay on that cutting edge. But assuming you're staying up on that, you're staying inspired, you're staying creative and, and, and opening yourself up to things coming in and inspiring you, assuming you're doing all that, there's no reason why you can't have something to say for the rest of your career and do something really cool. And now look, if you just paint flowers and that's great, maybe you don't need to be on the cutting edge, although there are probably going to be techniques that are evolving that you know, you can be on the cutting edge of still life or you can be on the cutting edge of landscapes. I mean, there are new techniques and stuff that are coming out or new tools to be using. Uh, maybe you're going to go into venture into NFTs and find a way to do landscape or still life through NFTs that haven't been done before or thought of before. That's what I mean. As long as you're keeping your mind open to new ideas and new concepts, there's nothing that should hold you back as an artist. You know how they say age is a state of mind? or age is just a number, whatever. I like age as a state of mind because I actually do agree with that. I feel like we're all just little kids in adult bodies. And in the art world, it's great because quick pause for the loudest car in the history of all automobiles and go. Your way of expressing yourself is through your medium. So people are going to just be seeing your medium, whether that's painting, sculpture, photography, NFTs, digital art, whatever. That's what people are going to be seeing. And if you are young at heart and your mind is young at heart and you are, if age is nothing but a mentality or a state of mind, then that's what your art is going to be. And that's really exciting. It's like being forever young, like I said. So you can constantly be evolving and kind of redefining yourself and your thoughts forever, basically. As long as you can stay alive and keep your energy levels and your moxie a little bit, you can keep creating viable and exciting and relevant art. What is better than that? Athletes eat your heart out. Being an artist is where it's at. It's the cat's pajamas, see? It's the bee's knees. See, I'm 124 years old. You had no idea because you've only seen my art. (laughs) But really today, I just wanted to share my enthusiasm and excitement about this topic. It's always fun to think about how long you can create. I mean, you could be creating art for 80 years and still be just as jazzed as day one, maybe even more so. I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years and I still get up every day thinking like, I'm so lucky to be an artist. I'm so lucky to be doing this. The possibilities are endless. I just don't know of a lot of other crafts or career paths that give you those options and the ability to do that. So let's all be grateful for that. And I just want to challenge you before we go to really challenge yourself. I want to challenge you to challenge yourself to remain inspired, to keep your mind, keep all that neuroplasticity, keep learning, keep exercising, keep yourself in good shape, keep your energy levels high, because that's really the only thing that's going to hold you back long term in your art career. If you're able to create If you're able to lift a paintbrush or whatever it is you're using, if you're able to stay inspired and stay curious and stay excited about what you're doing, man, the possibilities are endless and you can just perpetually do this. Once they develop the pill for everlasting life, you could basically just perpetually create for the rest of time. (laughs) I don't know if that's scary or exciting or maybe a bit of both. But anyway, that's your challenge before we go. Now, obviously, ageism is a real thing, and it's horrible. And hopefully by the time we all get older in our art, even though you're not going to be able to tell because we're forever young babies, ageism will be a thing of the past, and nobody will be judging people based on how many numbers they have or how many candles they have on their cake. But until then, stay forever young with me in your art. And now, enough blabbering from me. You know who's going to take us out. My truly forever young co-host, Alexa, tell us a joke. What's going to happen when pigs learn to fly? Huh? The price of bacon will skyrocket. (laughs) I'm rethinking this. This has been the Living Artist Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. I just want you to know that I appreciate you being here, and I'm grateful to be in your ears. Your art and creative life on this planet is meaningful. So thank you for sharing it with me. If you like this podcast, 
whatever platform you're listening to it on. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also leave me a positive review to show your support. This helps me to reach more people with the algorithmic magic and keep the show going strong. If you want to see more of what I do and check out the art that I create, you can visit my website at www.pmsartwork.com or follow me on social media everywhere at PMS Artwork. That's it for now. See you back here next time.